Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Imagine if you could hold a bubble in your hand. Well, guess what? You can. That was so cheesy, but with this experiment, you can not only hold a bubble, but you can also bounce one from person to person, squeeze the bubble, and blow it onto different surfaces. Let's get started. You'll need one cup dishwashing liquid, half a cup light corn syrup, and a straw to blow the bubbles. I believe a pipette, pipette, I'm not really sure how to say it, um, would also work by cutting the tip off and using that. So measure the ingredients and mix them to form a solution. I first tried to use a dropper to form the bubbles, but quickly realized that this doesn't work too well, so I added more corn syrup to thicken the liquid so it forms thicker bubbles that are better for blowing into large shapes. I then began blowing the bubbles with a straw. It's a lot easier to hold smaller bubbles, and another trick I learned to prevent popping the bubbles is to dampen your fingers to help with not bursting the bubble. Wow, I said bubble a lot. <laughs> I thought this looked pretty cool, but yes, it technically isn't unpoppable. I mean, if you try hard enough, it will burst, but it's a lot less often. How it works is that the ordinary bubbles trap a thin layer of water between soap molecules. Glycerin is often added to the bubble solution to slow down the rate of water evaporation. Combining soap and corn syrup makes a strong bubble that's a cross between a regular soap bubble and a sugar polymer bubble. See how big you can get. So that's all for this experiment. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like this, I also have more experiments, crafts, and snack recipes on this channel and my TikTok at DestinationDIY. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!